And then when I got to high school, I couldn't play baseball anymore. And so how was I ever going to be like, I wasn't good enough. At, and so how was I going to be like my brothers? How would I ever get a varsity letter in sports? And so again, looking in the mirror and liking what I saw, that was hard. Sure. But focusing on what I could do, I decided, well, the equipment manager for the baseball team. And I love that. And so that's what I did. Wonderful. And so when I had mentioned earlier about the teasing and making fun of, and I really don't like a lot of times to focus on that just because of what I was taught by my mother. It's easy to blame others and it's easy to find excuses. It's hard sometimes to look for the good, but I have to. And I have to trust God because like we said, God gave me life. It's up to me to make it good or bad. And so when I was the equipment manager for the baseball team, doing something that I love to do, there was a kid on the team that would chase me around the field almost every day, laughing at me and imitating the way I ran, saying, I'm gonna catch you and I'm gonna hang you by your club hands on the fence so you can never get down. Oh my word. How horrible and how sad. But on the other side of that, God was guiding me and he was helping me and he was teaching me. I can find excuses and I can blame him or I can thank God for helping me through it. Again, what an amazing outlook you have. Oh, well, thank unbelievable, you. Unbelievable, unbelievable. You were able to get a job. Yeah, that's a funny story. Tell me about when you applied for your first <laughs> job. Well, again, lived in Sacramento and there's lots of fast food restaurants and, and I went to probably every one of them, McDonald, Burger King, you name it, and nobody would hire me. And at this time in my life, my hands were still clubbed and I knew they weren't hiring me because of the way I looked. So I got this great idea and I went to Taco Bell, got an application, took it home, filled it out. I went to a different Taco Bell, waited for the manager going back put a jacket on and put my hands in my coat pockets and walked in and put my application on the counter. Well, the manager came up, interviewed me and hired me right then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, so I wish you could have seen her face the next day when I went into work for the first time <laughs> and I had a short sleeve shirt on. Oh my word. She was shocked at what she had just hired. <laughs> but here's the greatest part. Even though she was shocked, she gave me a chance. And over the next few years, because I was a good employee, they asked me to go help open new Taco Bell several times. Incredible. And I, I love that because I didn't give up and I didn't quit. And it's not about me. It's about the love. It's about my mm. parents and my mm. brothers. Those are the people that helped me find my faith. And those are the people that helped me become who I am. Right, right. But plus it pays to be a little sneaky. <laughs> a little sneaky. <laughs> Sometimes kidding. we have to do what we got to do. That's right. And after this job, you went on to another job. Right. I used to think, now remember, I had operations about every day of my, or not every day, excuse me, about every year or so every of my year. life. So operations were like you mm. going to the dentist. I often thank God mm. for being born with all my problems. I've had my whole life to deal with this. I've had my whole life. And so operations were just part of my life. I used to think because I had all these problems, nothing bad would happen, that I had my share of problems. But life doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. Life's not fair. And sometimes it's really, really hard. Because after I worked at Taco Bell for a while, I transferred to a donut shop. And it was five minutes before my shift was over, I went to turn some donuts, and I slipped and fell in a 400 degree fryer. Wow. Between Taco Bell and the donut shop, I had my hands straightened like they are now. They're fused, so I can't really move my wrist up or down, but I can use them better. I had my hands in this straight position. When my hands went in the fryer, the first thing I thought of was my doctors are gonna kill me. <laughs> Gosh. The second thing I thought of was, thank God I had my hands straightened. Because had I not, I can't show you, but you can imagine, if you could bend your wrist down, I would have landed on that part of my wrist, meaning my arms and my face would have gone in the fryer. Wow. So thank God I had my hands straightened. 
So you had that operation right before you went to work yeah. at the donut place. When I, yeah, it was wow. actually I had these <clears throat> both surgeries done, oh, one year and then the next year. But it was while I was working at Taco Bell, that time frame. And so then when I moved, yeah, they were both straightened. Unbelievable. And it was wow. absolutely a blessing and a gift. And I say that a lot, but my yes. whole life is, is full of those things and little miracles. But they thought they were going to have to do numerous skin grafts. Mm -hmm. And thankfully to my mother and father, who kept my hands clean, I never had to have one surgery from falling you in the You are kidding. Mm -hmm. So they did no skin grafts? Didn't have to do one. Not right. because of that. I've had other skin grafts because of other surgeries. Right. But not but from not falling the in the fryer. 400 no. degrees. Yeah. Oil. Wow. Yeah, when I talked to...